To celebrate the 100 years since the signing of the Declaration of Independence, 10 million people bustled into Fairman Park. They stared at a cordless engine, electric lighting, and Bell's telephone. This was the Philadelphia Centennial Exposition, and it was a grand celebration of American progress. Among its exhibitions resides one of the greatest artworks of American history. However, it won't be found in Memorial Hall in the main art exhibit. Instead, it's hidden away in the U.S. Army Post Hospital, where, in a corner, you'll find Thomas Aikens' masterpiece, The Girls' Clinic. In 1872, Aikens declared to his friends that he was ready for a big painting and turned over a canvas of a rower, where he started his sketch at a prompt of American accomplishments to enter into the Centennial Art Show. To Aikens, there was no greater accomplishment of Philadelphia than its medical community. The result was a painting that, at first glance, appears brutal, savage, and confusing. From the shiny, fresh blood coating the doctor's hands to a flurry of men working on a vague human form, from the gaping incision to the clawing hands of the patient's mother. She also serves as a mirror of ourselves. We want to look, yet can't help but to turn away. However, as our curiosity wins out, we may uncover some intriguing details. In the mid-1870s, electric lighting had not yet come into prevalence. Instead, surgeries had to take place between 11 and 2 o'clock, when the amphitheater would be brightly lit up by the skylight, conveniently centering our focus on Dr. Samuel Gross and the operation. In fact, the brightest spot in the room is Gross's forehead, which not only allows us to admire its considerable size, but also, as one writer puts it, gives him an air of godlike serenity. As he turns away from the operation to lecture, Gross is confident and assured as he educates not only his students, but also the viewer of the advancements in medicine. It is no surprise that Aiken shows Gross as the subject. Sometimes referred to as the Emperor of American Surgery, Gross was the biggest surgeon in America. During the 1870s, Gross had a tradition of annual before and now lectures at Jefferson Medical College, comparing his experience as a student in the 1820s to now. It was an exhilarating speech, meant to hype up the first year students about the new medical advances. Aikens' painting portrays one such advance, the treatment of osteomyelitis. Before, the only feasible treatment of this bone infection was to simply lop off the leg. But now, with the invention of anesthetics in the 1830s, a fairly small incision is enough to remove the diseased tissue. Before, the reason their powers of the bone weren't as well understood, and the lack of chloroform made the long surgery too painful to endure. Its implications can be seen in the painting, where the patient's face is obscured by a white cloth with the purpose of keeping him unconscious and unfeeling. Just below, a cut, considerably less intrusive than amputation, is made where the diseased tissue would be removed. However, the gross clinic represents space for more progress, as well as already achieved advancements. Gross was a big opponent of Pasteur's germ theory and Lister's antiseptics. In fact, Lister also visited the Philadelphia Centennial in 1875, and had he seen a painting, he would have reacted with disgust at the uncleanness of the street clothes and bloody fingers. Gross was also known to have sharpened his scalpel with the bottom of his boot. Furthermore, Gross's chloroform anesthetics were rather rudimentary. Notice how one man is needed to restrain the patient. Despite greater successes in surgery and declining mortality rate, there is still more to go. Perhaps with Gross's portrayal as the enlightened top surgeon, Aikens was trying to make a similar parallel to himself. Although he was rejected from a Centennial Art exhibit and only received mixed reviews, 
Today, the Gross Clinic establishes Thomas Aikens as one of America's greatest artists.